Bobbleheads, hockey sticks, used gloves, vintage clocks, and oh so much more. Welcome to Overtime, brought to you by KingsCast at www.kingscast.net, a video program celebrating the Los Angeles Kings. In this special Overtime installment, we bring to you a brand new and original series entitled Fans. It's a celebration of the pride, passion, and lunacy of the spirited Los Angeles Kings fan. Rank myself as a Kings fan. Uh, there's so many diehard Kings fans out there, it's hard to put me up at the top of the list. I'd say I just like right smack in the middle, just with everyone else. Live from Ducks Country in Huntington Beach, California, I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalaszewski, and welcome to the inaugural edition of PADS. Brought to you by KingsCast at www.kingscast.net. That's right, Kings fans. Here we are in Orange County, California to check out the regionally ridiculed Joe the Collector's Hockey Memorabilia Assemblage. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Joe the Collector. Welcome to my pad. Come on in, guys. Wow. See, you got like a serious Luke Robitaille kind of fetish going on here. I, I mean, this is crazy. What? Well, as you can see, Luke Robitaille has been my favorite player ever since I became a Kings fan. I started actually following him as a player in 88. Thanks to one of my friends uh, who owns a place called Creative Play. Um, he actually took all my mementos of Luke Robitaille and put it all in one little picture. Uh -huh. I had a serious mullet going on back in the day, let me tell you something. I mean, it's like down here, clipped. Uh, what's this uh, ticket here, the Detroit Red Wings? Uh, uh, that happens to be the year that he became the uh, highest scoring left wing uh, in NHL history. That happens to be the game that he actually passed Bobby Hall. Now, how do you get stuff like this? Are you at every single game or are you, you know, are you bidding on eBay? How are you acquiring this stuff? Most of the stuff that uh, happened to be in there, I happen to be at. Uh, so wow. I was very fortunate to be at some of the actual games that he happened to make uh, certain milestones and records. But uh, I was actually fortunate enough to acquire that through eBay. You know, some collector was just wanting to go ahead and part with it. And being a Luke Robitaille fan like I was, I got it. Now, the question is, Joe, is where, where's, where is Robitaille's jock? I mean, is that part of your prize collection? Because it seems like it's kind of missing here, you know? I mean... No, I, I may be a fan, but I'm not that type of fan. Okay. <laughs> Let me start with this. This is an interesting item here. What is this exactly? Uh, I actually found that on eBay right after uh, the Detroit Red Wings won the Stanley Cup in 02. Uh, they actually commemorated a puck to select players on the Red Wings, and... Uh, Luke Roberts, I happened to be featured, and I just thought, hey, that's a unique item I don't think anyone really has, so uh, yeah, I, I snag it. How mad would you be if I opened this right now? I'd probably be a little pissed. <laughs> okay, I would. <laughs> they gotta talk about this, you know, I gotta talk about this. <laughs> this looks like a small Polaroid picture. Yes. Of you and Luke Robitaille, July 15th, 1990. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes, I've always been meaning to show Luke that. Uh, I like your cuffed denim jeans shorts. Yes, too. back in the 90s. So... The only thing that I think rivals your passion for hockey is your passion for wolves. Yeah, it's simple. I love wolves. I, if I could ever own a wolf as a pet, I would. Well, alright. I like, I like wolves too. Alright, so here we are with Joe's jersey collection, and Chris, I think this is probably one of the most amazing and somewhat disturbing things I've ever seen. So, Joe, uh, let's <laughs> see it. What's your, let me see your favorite jersey. This one I've actually been, uh, oh, wow. been working on since 1992-93. Uh, oh it actually has majority of the Kings players who played since the last time the Kings actually made it, since the only time the Kings actually made it to the finals of the Stanley Cup. Uh, I've been working on this for quite a few times, and if you look on the back as well. So you got Gretzky over here. Was that Butch Goring? Correct, yes. Wow, we so got Jack Johnson twice? Yeah, the reason why I got Jack twice is because I got him when he very first started with the Kings when his number was 33, and now since he moved to three, I just thought it was uh, nice to go ahead and actually show the number he's really wearing now. We got a Wayne, was this a Wayne Gretzky uh, All-Star jersey? That's correct. Uh, this was the year... It's not an official jersey, all it is is just like an authentic jersey, you know, that fans could wear. Okay. What do we have here, Kings fans? It's a Ryan Getzlaff jersey. Okay. Um, well, if you ever wear that at a game, <laughs> I'll be there's shocked. Gonna be problems. There's going to be a beat down, big time. <laughs> Boom. Ah, again, running theme with Luke Robitaille. So, what is, what is this one, Joe? We got Stanley Cup patch here. 
Uh, this just happens not to be the actual jersey he wore. I've not been lucky enough to get that yet. But uh, this happens to be a, a replica of the jersey that he actually wore the year that he won the Stanley Cup. So now, Joe, if, if you met Luke Robitaille and for some reason he was just a, a complete you know, and like slapped you in the face, what would you do with all your Robitaille stuff? Uh, actually, I think I'd be caught off guard by that, but that's not in his nature. I don't think he'd ever do that. He's too yeah. nice of a person, and uh, he's the face of the Kings. Why do you want to hurt someone who's a diehard yeah. Kings fan? Fair enough. Okay. Basically, he would forgive him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, wow, Joe, that's one of the most amazing jersey collections I've ever seen, uh, minus the Ducks jerseys. Is there anything out there that's sort of on your radar? Is like, you gotta have yeah, it for what's the collection? Up next? Yeah. I'd definitely like to someday acquire a uh, Robotai Game Used jersey. You know, if Luke saw this, I think he would have to give you one. Because, I mean, this is like a shrine. Yeah. You know, some people have, have like a Buddha, and some candles with the yeah. family. Joe's got like Robitaille everywhere in the King. So, Kings, if you're watching, I think Joe deserves it. Yes, Come Luke, on. if you're watching, please! Oh, wow. Heard you talk about your stick collection before, but now I can actually get to see this. Uh, wow, this is impressive. How many sticks do you think are actually here? Uh, there's close to about... Uh, 200 sticks that I've collected over the last uh, few years. Wow, so this one looks special. It's got a little sock on it. What, uh, what is this? It uh, happens to be the stick that uh, my favorite player, as uh, so Keith so eloquently put it, pointed out earlier, uh, being Luke Robitaille, the stick he used when he was actually on the Detroit Red Wings when he, the year he won the Stanley Cup in 2002. So how do you keep track of it? Look at this big pile of sticks. Can't even, like, get, can't even hug it. I have I have developed my own little method uh, to my madness in order to keep track of everything uh, stick wise. What I actually did was I actually created myself a little logbook so uh, so I know exactly what sticks I own and what sticks I you know how I've obtained them. Okay, that makes uh, sense. What I've done is I pretty much wrote down every stick I actually own, put down the day I actually got it, who the player was, and and if it was signed and if it. And what day I got it signed. So oh, wow. And they, some of them have like a little story around it. See, give it to me after game versus Anaheim at the pond. Let me get a touch of this. All right, Joe. We have seen a lot of stuff today. I have not seen a lot of equipment besides the, the circular TP of sticks. What else you got? Oh, uh, well, I do have some other stuff related to equipment that you have not seen yet. Let's see it. Oh. Wow. There you go. <laughs> what is this? Damn, that is rank. I, all right, well, Joe, what kind of what are your special kind of gloves here? Let's, what do you got? Well, uh, probably one of the pair of gloves is that, that I do have here is uh, an old King uh, Nathan Dempsey. He used to play with the Kings. Nathan Dempsey, that was a scrub, I think. Wow. Yes, he and was. So he actually wore these. Yes, he did. So I'm not going to put them on, but <sighs> he played for the Kings in like 05, 06, and it still smells like he just got off the ice at Staples Center. Playing three minutes a night. Cool. What else you got? These are Michael Camilleri gloves. Ah, thank you for your support, Michael Camilleri. Let's have a look at these. All right. He's got tiny hands. He's kind of a small guy. Just... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a lot worse. Wow. So let me let me ask you a question, kind of diverting. When when you bring back the ladies here to your pad. And you whip out the gloves. Do they usually kind of head out? This is the pool area where I live. This is where I like to come out and hang out after a long, hard day of watching the Kings practice. Joe, who is the unfriendliest hockey player uh, that you've ever talked to? Well, there's probably a couple that I can name, but uh, one without a doubt who's probably the rudest person I've ever come across when it comes to autographs. Has to be our former Anaheim Duck player, Paul Correa. Hockey players I've always found to be probably out of all the four professional sports one of the nicest athletes I've ever come across. So to try to say anything negative would not do it justice. It's impossible with a hockey player. They're too, they're too nice and accommodating. And we'll talk about anything with you about the sports as far as their family life if you want to just chat. The greatest podcast of all time is easy, kingcast.net. Okay guys, you see my pad, you see my room, you see my collection, you see my jerseys, my sticks, my pucks. Now get out of here. Now, no Kings sheets. This is Nicole Glaze and you're watching Kings Cast.